I'll show you how I made this bread and bread knife for the cardboard room box. When I first started planning this project, I always imagined some homemade baked bread sitting on top of the stove. I'm trying a technique where you use water and baking powder to make your polymer clay dough rise. It does all of its rising before you bake it, and when you slice the bread, it ends up having holes like realistic bread. I'm shaping the dough into a rustic looking round loaf. Adding texture to miniature food is a really easy step and it goes a long way in making it look more realistic. I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut little lines around the bread to make it look like the dough stretched and cracked as it baked. When it came out of the oven, I was so excited to see the texture inside, I started slicing it before I had even colored the dough. I could tell by the dryness of the dough and the tight crumb structure that I had done the technique wrong. When you're making miniatures from scratch, you'll often make mistakes and things won't turn out the way you'd like. Making mistakes is an unavoidable part of the creative process. Instead of chucking my little bread across the room, I decided to add some color and see if I could save it. I'm coloring the bread with chalk pastel mixed with water, which is just paint pigment, so if you don't have chalk pastels, you can use watered down paint. I'm happy with the color, but I would like to improve the texture, so I'm using a little pokey dental tool to try to poke some holes into it. The dough was really tough, so instead I just started scraping away at the surface, and I really like the texture I end up with. I linked a video in the description from Simply Stella showing the correct way to use the baking powder technique. I think this looks really great as it is, but I'm doing one more very simple step which really takes it over the top for me. I'm using some white acrylic paint to fake the look of flour on the outside of the bread and around the bottom. Since I cut my slices before doing all the coloring, I'm adding a bit of flour to those pieces as well. I'm displaying the loaf of bread on a simple cutting board on top of the stove. I sanded all the harsh 90 degree edges before staining with antique wax from Waverly. I learned about this product from Tiny Keyhole Minis and it's one of my new favorites. While it's still wet, I remove the excess. I'm making a stew for the top of the stove, so I'm adding a bit of watered down orange paint to make it look like someone was cutting up carrots before using this for bread. I used a stiff bristled brush to pound some paint onto the cutting board to make it look like flour that came off of the bread. I tried to add a little bit of texture to the slice of bread, but since I had done something wrong, the clay was too crumbly and I had to glue this back together. I'm using some of the same baked clay to make some crumbs. Now I'm making a bread knife to display with the bread. I cut this little bit of serrated metal off an aluminum foil box I'm currently using, so hopefully it still works. 
I pilfered this piece of metal because I want the serrated teeth for the blade of my knife. I angled the end and cut out a strip. I cut the handle end of the knife a bit thinner. I'm using a really thin piece of wood that's actually old dollhouse flooring to make the handle. If you don't have a piece of wood that's this thin, you can use a popsicle stick or coffee stir stick because you have to sand it anyway. Using super glue, I glued the two pieces on either side of the handle. I'm using a really cheap round file to add rounded indents where your fingers would fit. This simple step took me less than a minute, but it adds so much realism. Knives usually have little metal grommets that are holding on the handle, so I'm making a couple holes. I'm filling the holes with these caviar beads, which are meant for nail decoration. I coated the entire piece with super glue and stuck the little beads inside of the holes. They were sticking up above the surface, so I sanded it flat. I attached the knife to the board using tacky wax so I can remove it and use it in other projects if I'd like. 